Hello everyone. I wanted to share a story with you today called And Then It's Spring. It's written by Julie Bogolano and illustrated by Aaron E. Steed. And I love this book. My um, children and I read this often, especially when it comes around springtime because we love spring. Who doesn't love spring? Today's a gorgeous day, so get out there. We've already been out there a little bit, so we plan on being out some more here this afternoon. First, you have brown. All around, you have brown. Then, there are seeds. Any of you started some seeds to start planting flowers or in your garden? I know we have. And you wish for rain. And then it rains. And it's still brown, but a hopeful, very possible sort of brown. Been loving looking outside here this last week. Have you guys noticed the grass is turning green? The leaves or the trees are starting to grow little buds on them. It's so exciting. And is that a little green? No, it's just brown, sort of brown. Then it is a week. What do you notice is happening? Anything different? And you worry about those seeds. And maybe it was the birds. Or maybe it was the bears and all the stopping because bears can read signs that say, or can't read signs that say things like, please do not stop here. There are seats and they are trying. Now, I don't think we have very many bears around here, but we do have deer and things like that that can stamp some of our, some of our um, things that are growing. And then... It is one more week. And the brown, still brown, has a greenish hum that you can only hear if you put your ear to the ground and close your eyes. Look at all those different things. Some ants, worms, some mice or moles, some chipmunks. It's one more week, right? Still brown. And a sunny day. That sunny day that happens right after the rainy day. We talked about what plants need before. So we know plants need sunlight. They need water. when you walk outside to check on all that brown, nothing happens. <gasps> but the brown isn't around and now you, all you have green all around, you have green. That's the end. I love the illustrations in this story, and I also love that it really represents how Ohio looks, right? We start off brown, and now things are starting to get greener and greener. We're getting to that point where we're going to start planting things in the ground, and that's a super exciting time. And sometimes it seems like it takes forever for something to grow, but be patient is worth the wait when you have some things like that. So I wanted to share this with you. I also want to challenge you to get outside and play, all right? 
Have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.